G'day guys, we have got an absolute crackerjack comparison for you tonight. We've got DeWalt, Milwaukee, Makita, Bosch, Matabo and Hilti. We have got a second DeWalt because this is a max and a plus comparison. That's right. This test is about finding out what the best drill is if you're the type of person who has to drill a lot of dr holes in concrete. Yep. Um, this is not about a little, you know, get out of jail free kind of, oh, I've got a little anchor to put in. This is for the guys who do it all day. Yep. Um, who want the best of the best. Yep. And uh, that's what this comparison is set up to tell you. Yeah. We're going to be doing um, holes in hard concrete, a bit of chipping as well. Yep. Uh, Runtime test, telling you all the specs. So uh, stay tuned. We've got, a lot, we've got a lot coming. Strap in. Okay, so our first test was 16 mil bits. Um, and these are going into 40 MPA sleepers, so very hard. Um, two of them at 100 mil thick each, five holes. After the first hole, I've sped them up 10 times faster than normal. Yeah, it's no point trying to watch the whole thing, but man, these concrete sleepers were stuffing heavy um, and hard. I was doing the test here, uh, did all of the drills, tried to keep the pressure even, didn't lean on it too much, just let the tool do its work. Yeah, interestingly, the SDS Max units are really lagging here. Um, I thought, oh, bigger is better. Yeah. But it seems that the higher BPM of the SDS Plus units really favours them. It goes against the numbers that I sort of read on the card, but it makes sense as to what happened. Yeah, that's right. So the bigger jewels on those max yeah. units don't seem to help it that much. No. You'll see already the healthy there, then the DeWalt uh, went really well. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the Bosch and the Tabo both sneaking in under two minutes. Yeah. Makita, two minutes, 15. And they're just finishing the SDS Max units, um, the DeWalt at uh, 2 minutes 30, and the Milwaukee just under 3 minutes. Now we'll just take a closer look and a quick overview of each tool. Okay, first up we've got the Bosch 36 volt unit. This is a 4 amp hour battery. Um, it's a brushed unit with pretty good specs though. It came out last year and we were really happy with it when we reviewed it earlier this year. Then we have the first of the DeWalt units in the comparison, it's a 54 volt unit, um, runs a 9 amp hour battery at 18 volt or 3 amp hour at 54 volt, brand new this year. The Hilti 36 volt unit here has been the industry leader since it came out in 2013, um, running a 6 amp hour battery, we've reviewed this one as well and loved it. Okay, this is the Makita twin 18 volt unit, um, it only hits at 2.5 joules and is a brushed unit so we're not expecting it to do that well and it is also from 2014. The Metabo is the other twin 18 volt unit with brand new lithium HD 7 amp hour batteries. Um, this is the third brushed unit in the comparison. Then up to the big boys, this is the DeWalt SDS Max. Same battery as the other one, um, but hitting at 6.1 joules and uh, weighing 6.9 kilograms. And lastly, we've got the Milwaukee SDS Max unit. This is the only 18 volt um, in the field, with a whopping 6.9 joules and, and 6.7 kilograms. So those are the main specs from each of the tools. Um, I've also put together a big specification sheet with costs, weights, lengths, all the features. So pause now if you want a closer look. Alrighty, so this is our runtime test guys. So the same thing, 40 MPA sleepers stacked on top. Uh, there's no particular order to these, but what we did do is try and be a little bit real about the uh, the test time in that we did 10 holes, then gave it a bit of a break and jumped onto the next one. That's right, and uh, what's really interesting here, it, we happened to both pick up the DeWalt first, and they finished the same. Same stick in time, yeah. So that the big DeWalt and the little DeWalt, the 22 mil, which is what these bits are, our runtime test is 22 mil. Um, yep. holes yes. um, gave us identical numbers. So yep. that's Now there's a sped up to the same uh, speed. Yep. You'll notice here that the Hilti is actually creaming the Makita, which is a bit a little unfair on the Makita. We've got two cameras running. Um, don't know why we did that. Yeah, I think it was just so we could use the footage <laughs> again another time if we wanted. Um, but anyway, um, now we're onto the big, big, big Milwaukee, uh, the big SDS Max unit, which just does these just so yep. easily Yeah. Um, by comparison. And what happens is, after we've done 10, we move the next one down the line, so there's the same gap um, in time each 
you know, after each unit. Yep. Um, so they all get a fair rest. And then, so we're now up to the last um, couple in the line, and yep. after this, we'll head back, Cycle through again. back to the Dewalt's. Yep. Um, as, again, so just finishing out these last. It wasn't two. real fun at this point. No, that's right. So you see the Bosch busted out a bit there, but I did do an extra one uh, just to be sure that it was fair. Yeah. Um, so now we're back to the big Dewalt first yep. up. Um, so it's already done its first 10. And now um, it's just topped out at 14, 14 yep. I would have actually done 5 mil hole increments rather than 10 if I hadn't known. Yeah, we both thought that they'd do more holes. Yeah, I thought they'd do more. So. And I expected the SDS Mac uh, Plus DeWalt to do the same as the big one. Yeah. Since they're on the same battery and all. Yeah, like 18. But actually did 4 more. Yeah, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, Hilti's just burning through it again, yeah. just finishing another 10 holes. I swear you took the Hilti deliberately because it was uh, <laughs> it's it's a holiday very, time. It's a very comfy jewel. Makita at 12.5 um, holes, uh, which is uh, you know not a brushless unit, so no. it, I guess to be expected. Um, all right, now we've got uh, Milwaukee at 14, which is the same as the big Dewalt. Yep. The two SDS Max it's units. Good. Yep, really good. The Dewalt, uh, sorry, the Bosch 10 and a half holes, only did an extra half. Uh, the Metabo at 15 and a half holes. Yeah. And the Hilti at 21. Beautiful. This comparison isn't possible without our major sponsor, Power Tools Direct. Power Tools Direct are a family owned and operated business based out of South Australia. Um, they've got a long history selling tools, they really know their stuff. Um, so, big thanks to them. Please head over to their store or their eBay store. Links are in the description. Alright, our final speed test for the units is 28mm, which is right on capacity for the SDS Plus units. Um, too much for the 26mm Makita. Yeah, it's over. Yep, um, so pretty tough, except for the SDS Max units, which just love this. Yep. Um, you can see them on the right just smashing it in. Uh, the Makita, we actually lost <laughs> about 20 seconds of footage just because the camera turned off. So yeah, Don't burn us, Makita fans. That's right. Um, and also, the Makita only did one hole as opposed to two because yep. it took so long. It was just so uncomfortable. I wasn't willing to do a second. So I just doubled the time instead of doing actually two. Yep. You can see the DeWalt Max there gone in just over two minutes and then Milwaukee Max at three minutes. Yeah, the DeWalt smashed it. Yeah. Held really it at four, good. which is cool. Yeah, really good. Um, the Bosch and the Metabo just over four and a half minutes and the DeWalt Plus sneaking in just under five. Yep. The major outcome, use an SDS Max if you can. Alright, so just um, lastly, just the big units, the big max ones, we just want to do a couple of big holes. So we've got some 32mm bits, um, going through the same sleepers again, 40 MPA, um, just to see how fast they can do it. These are both rated at 40mm. Yeah, which I didn't realise at the time, um, but man did they eat it up. You suck by the way, because I'm the one that had to do these bigger ones. <laughs> uh, I may have said a couple of cuss words at the end, because uh, it was pretty uncomfortable, but one thing we were just talking about before is maybe there's a reason why DeWalt's gone the big 54 volt because it was it was much more comfortable. It was and it was much faster. Yeah. Um, as you can see there, the DeWalt nearly finished its second hole already. Yeah. Um, so it, it's the clear winner in terms of the biggest, baddest guy on the block. Yep. It's the DeWalt one. And if you do have one that's a little bit uncomfortable, it takes longer. It does tend to wind you up a little bit. Yeah, that's true. So DeWalt doing it in two and a half minutes. Yep. And Milwaukee doing it in three minutes, 46. Yep. So that's the testing done. Uh, we just wanted to give you a few of the notes and stuff that we uh, found as we went. First being that the 16 mil bits are not identical between SDS Plus and Max. They've got a slightly different shaped head. Yep. It gives a slight advantage to the SDS Plus units. We think. Uh, but they're all four cutters. Yep. Um, at the other sizes, they're all identical. Yep. All Bosch Bulldog Extreme bits, they're awesome. Yeah, so thank you very much for Bosch to providing them too. Indeed. Um, so, Milwaukee, I just want to say quickly, has a two mode only. It's not three yep. mode. So, you don't have your dedicated drilling mode only on this unit. So, yep. just a quick note. Yep. Um, now, the other thing, the battery connections. Just had a couple of funky things during the comparison. 
the Bosch and the Metabo are just a little bit of a pain in the bum sometimes mm. to change a battery over. It's only a little thing, but we used them for so long, we, we'd be remiss if we didn't say it. Yeah, the Bosch is a bit stiff. A bit stiff and it has a two-stage, and then the Metabos are all a bit, always a bit funny the way you, they release. You push the button, so you end up spinning the thing around, going, oh, how do I hold it while yeah. I push the button to get it up? Bit awkward, but anyway, it's so, only a small thing. Yep. Um, no LED on the Metabo or the Hilti. Yep. We both noted that and then went, do we care? No. If you care, then... Don't get those ones. <laughs> We're not too stressed. No. So, uh, drill in the additional chucks. So, three of them have got the additional chucks. That's right. Yeah. Oh, the three plus along the front. Yep. Makes sense that these don't have them. Um, would have thought this would probably come yeah. with it. But anyway, so if you're just into some drilling, whacking a spade bit in it, you can do it with the three front units there. Indeed. And they all got kickback safety, um, yep. except for the DeWalt. Yes. Uh, the little DeWalt. And I don't know why that would be. Um, For sure. We didn't try it, we didn't test it, but this no. is, this doesn't have it advertised. Everyone else advertises, they have anti kickback. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, now, we did do some chipping. Yes. <coughs> we chipped for about a minute each. We, we didn't really feel that we could do it in a way that wasn't going to be unfair. Like, yeah. I didn't know how to score There's it. There's no scientific way of doing it. No, nah, so we just didn't score it. All we wanted to note was that uh, the Makita is a bit slower than the others. It doesn't hit as hard. Yeah, lowest dual rate. Yep, that's right. And the, these two? The rest of them all did pretty well. The big SDS Max are miles Off ahead. Because they hit like with twice the amount of joules per, yeah. per hit than the others. So yep. um, that's just, that is what it is. Yep. Alright, so onto the scores and the results. Um, with the speed, I wanted to be able to show you the small sizes and large sizes on different sort of rows so you could see. Yep. Uh, so what I've got is 16 and 22 mil separate from 22 and 28. Yeah. Um, and that means we double count the 22. I, I know that, but um, just it, it is what it is, and I wanted to be able to show it that way. Yeah. We've um, weighted them both at 10. Yep. And uh, Hilti overall does fantastic at speed. Yes. Does really well on both sizes. Um, and then the big Dewalt. You know, is, is the best at the, the really big sizes. Yeah. As we saw in the 32 mil as well, which only these two did. Yeah, correct. So it's obviously the sweet spot for the for the Hilti, I think. Yeah. Um, runtime. Runtime. As I just said, the Hilti absolutely smashes it oh. with the runtime. We were literally just going, is this stuff and thing going to run out? Yeah, that's right. So at 22 mil, now that's weighted at 15 because it is important. It is really important. Runtime. It, fair argument to say it's possibly the most important. Yeah. Uh, runtime because who wants to be charging batteries constantly and. Mucking around. This test is designed to be the biggest, baddest ones for people who need to yep. drill big holes all the time. Yeah. So runtime's important. Yep. Um, and then charge time, we just did it at five. Yeah, rated that at five. And that was more, really, that works out more a case of where the big amperage batteries start coming in now. Mm -hmm. um, I think all manufacturers need to start picking up and catching up. Yeah. Because when you're running something at, I don't know, four, six amps, uh, it takes a while to, to uh, charge up some yeah, it does. It, some batteries. It, it does seem like the big dedicated 36 volt units in Hilti and Bosch yep. have thought harder about charge time on their big batteries. Yep, whereas the 54 volt probably struggles a bit, fair to yeah. say. Yeah. The, the, when you're running sevens on the Metabo now, the, it takes a while. Yeah, the charge is a, a little bit on the slower side and yep. you need two of them because double battery. That's true. And then the Milwaukee at nine slowest. amp hour battery, yep. that's the slower. So that's, right. that's a rapid charger. Yeah, that's right. So, now the comfort, uh, we tested again with the 22 mil bit. Yep. Um, we did it separately just to feel the vibration. Yep. Obviously, you just want to go fast and get it done. Yeah. So speed is almost more important to us than this part. Yep. But um, we gave it a weighting of 10 just to how it felt in the hand, minute for minute. Yep. Second for second, if you hold them for the same amount of time. Yep. And uh, what we found was that the Bosch. Yeah. Um, it's just magnificent. It is. I said it on the day, but it's really hard to get a proper gauge on the day. Mm. Six and a half hours, I think, we tested for. No, too much. I wanted to use them all as stinking boat anchors by the end of it. <laughs> but I do remember saying to Dwayne, I'm like, geez, that, that Bosch is nice. It's really nice. So tonight we did do a really quick separate test. Yeah. And again, that felt the same. So for comfort, absolutely love it. Yeah, it's brilliant. Um, they all did fairly well. Yep. Um, I think the Hilti and the little DeWalt were also really high in that category. Yep. And of course, we were also just briefly we were chatting that something like that. Yeah, we did that at a twenty-two. You're not going to be able to stick a thirty-two in. So again, these sort of sit in a slightly different area. Well, yeah. So, uh, so if you're doing a thirty mil hole, these are going to be more comfortable. Yeah. If you're going to do a sixteen mil hole, then you know the Hilti and the Bosch are going to be the most comfortable. Yeah. That's just how it's going to work. Yep. Um, all right. So that gets us two total scores out of fifty. Yeah. And as you can see, um, the Hilti has destroyed everything. Yep. Spanked it. 
Uh, forty-six out of fifty. It's just it's really good, and it's two yeah. and a half grand for a kit. Yep. Um, so I'd, I'd want it to be. It should be spanking everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you know, look at that twenty-year warranty with that thing. Yep. Fantastic service. Yep. Uh, it's a dream to use. Every time we picked it up during the day, like man, this thing is just good. Even when we're getting tired and sore, so yep. definitely sits. That's on the right. There. Um, second place in scores went to the SDS Plus yep, DeWalt. Plus unit. Um, so that's definitely going to be your value pick out of the SDS Plus units. 100%. It's the yeah. cheapest kit yep. and it's fantastic results. Yep. And then your SDS Max winner is definitely going to go to your big flex vault. Yep. Yeah, and the right. Milwaukee lagged it a bit, didn't it? It did, yeah. So yep. this is clearly um, an incredible SDS Max unit. Yep. And uh, from our review, this goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with their 5 kilo unit. It's it's the same unit with a battery on it. Yeah, and that's the individual review you've already done. Exactly. Yep. Um, yeah. Now that's not to say that others aren't good picks, um, especially if you're already on those platforms. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. Yeah. If you've already you're already on these on your 18s or anything like that. Yep. You're not going to be really disappointed. But... Yeah. Matawa, Makita, Milwaukee. Your existing batteries are going to work. Yep. No problem. But yeah, this test was designed for the people who use it a lot all yep. day. Yep. Probably don't even want to share their batteries with the other tools. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't ever want to do it all day. <laughs> no, that's right. Um, all right, so I've also put the prices up in the table so you can see. Pricing is a little bit um, tricky because not all of these units come as a skin or a kit. Yep. Bosch can't be bought as a skin as far as I can see. Yeah, which is odd. You search that for a bit. Well, it's, it's a it's a 36 volt line, and their 36 volt line is not all that big. Extensive. Yep. Yeah. So um, uh, now the Makita and the Metabo aren't sold in kits in Australia. Yep. So I had to kind of search around, see what the cheapest way to get four batteries and two chargers is, because yep. that's what you're going to need for those units, yep. and that's what the prices have got up at. Yeah, so that, that, the table reflects that. If you want a cheap skin, um, the Makita is so cheap, 370 odd bucks. Yeah. Um, and your existing batteries are run on it. Absolutely, yep. So um, anyway, you got to make your own judgment now about value. Yes. Um, but Hilti the winner. Yep. And those two taking out respective categories as well. Yep. So um, yeah, really hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you got any questions, please read the table a second or third time before yeah. you hammer us with something, because <laughs> Dwayne has given you a stack of info, uh, and it was really good to do this. Uh, we just wanted to say another quick thank you to Power Tools Direct who yep. made this video possible yes and the sunset sleepers who let us bust up a bunch of their nice yep. concrete sleepers they were beautiful and they are no longer <laughs> that's right <laughs> all right thank you so much for watching please subscribe to us like the video yep. tell us what you think or what you're going to buy yep and it's hit us hit us up on facebook instagram absolutely wherever if you like it share the daylights out of it thank you very much thanks guys bye